But as I said, I can see it perfectly and it's something that I wouldn't be able to see without an inspection camera. When we built this house, there was something that I learned very early on, and that was you need the right tool for the right job. It just makes life so much easier, and in some cases, it means you can actually do the job to start off with. So whether that be an SDS drill, a good chop saw, even a chainsaw, and also when you're working on the car as well, there are some jobs that you can't do without the specific tool, or it's gonna take you all day instead of five minutes. And for me, that's exactly the case with the endoscope or the inspection camera, whichever you want to call it. Having the right tool for the job makes life so much easier. And that's where this Depstech DS260 comes in perfectly. Right, I've reviewed quite a few inspection cameras. However, a lot of them require some specific setup that takes time, or you've got to connect them to the phone, which is great because they tend to be the cheaper ones, but they do take time to set up. This, on the other hand, you get it out of the box, you pick it up, you switch it on, and it's ready to go. No bells and whistles, just does the job that it's there to do. So I'm going to go through the specification of it. I'm going to go through the accessories that you get with it, and then we'll see it in operation. All right, so first of all, we've got a screen that's 2.4 inch. It's an IPS LCD screen. The actual camera itself, that's an eight millimeter diameter, so it can get into most places. And the focal range is between three and 10 centimeters, so quite a bit to play with there. The resolution of the screen is 1080, so we've got a HD screen. And with regards to the camera, that's got an 80 degree viewing angle. It's charged up with a USB-C cable and the charging time is between two to three hours. When you've charged it, you've got a usage time of between two to three hours as well. And one really important thing is the camera cable itself is 16 and a half feet long, so plenty of cable, especially if you're going down pipe work. Let's have a quick look at the accessories that it comes with. Well, it comes with a USB-C charging cable. Now, I've got these all over the house, so I can use anything basically as long as it's got a USB-C connector on it. And you also get a little tube of accessories as well. Now, some of the cameras that you can get, they already come with different lenses on those. So you can have one lens like this one or two lenses or three lenses, which gives you the ability to, to view at different angles. So you might have a 90 degree angle camera on the side as well. Some others that are like this that have the single camera, as an accessory, what you can get is a 90 degree. It's basically just a mirror attachment so you can see it at 90 degrees. With this, however, what you get is a magnetic pickup tool and a hook pickup tool and they're really really easy to fit so if you drop your keys down the engine compartment or something like that a bolt you can pick it up with this or you can pick it up with a magnet let's just see how they fix on now as with all endoscope accessories very very easy to fit and all you do is you screw the head off there that's around the camera let's just pop that down let's get the magnetic one turn it around that screws on in place so you've got the camera underneath it now, so you can still see what you're doing. And once it's in place, as I say, if it's gone into the engine compartment, if it's a bolt or anything metal, it will simply pick it up when you go down. So you locate it, find it, then just collect it. Very, very easy. Take that off. And so it's a set of keys that's gone somewhere. Again, screw that on. Pop the endoscope down to where the keys are and just pick it up with the hook. And if we quickly go through the operation of it, it's very, very simple. Pick it up, put your finger on the power button, it switches on, and then within seconds, you've got the picture of what you're looking at. You've got a two time zoom or a one and a half time zoom as well. So first of all, let's just zoom in first and then second. So that's your two time zoom. So have a better look at it. So let's zoom out. And because the LEDs are quite powerful on it, I think you've got eight on there in total, you can switch them off completely. So that's with the LEDs off. You can press it again and you'll get a number of LEDs coming on, but not all of them. Press it again, it goes a little bit brighter and then press it for a third time and that's your full illumination on it. Up in the top left hand corner, you can see that you've got a battery indicator there. So we're fully, fully charged at the moment. And to turn it off again, finger on the power button and it just switches off. If we turn it onto the side, you'll see that there's your USB-C connector port, and you've also got a charging indicator light and a reset button as well. And if we just have a look at that charge indicator, there's the USB port on the side, USB-C. Get the cable, pop it in, and you've got the charge indicator on. And this is just being charged off a power brick, so really, really versatile. 
Right, I'm going to use it now just to inspect a tap that I've got underground. So you'll see it in operation, really, really simple. Let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look at it. So we'll take the cover off. Now, this is to prevent anything going down it. Now I can't see down there at all. So obviously that's where the inspection camera comes in. Now, 16 and a half foot, it's called semi-rigid. It's called semi-rigid because it is flexible, but what you can do is you can turn it and it'll stay in that position just so that you can see from the side if you want to do. But what we're going to do is we're just going to have it straight. I'm going to unroll some of it. Okay, so I've said that I can't see down there. It's too dark and it's too far. Let's turn this on. Finger on the power button, switched on. And now let's just feed it into, into the hole. Right, so it's in there and we're going down and you can see, or should I say, you can already see the tap at the bottom. Now it's a bit difficult to do because I'm looking at the screen on the phone as well at the same time. But there you can see the tap. Now there's absolutely no way that I'd have been able to see that. Uh, we can turn the light. I've shown you how to do that before. So hang on a second, let's get a better view. A bit further down. Turn it. Right, okay. There we go. Right, so I can turn the light off if it's too bright, if there's a reflection. I can turn it on one setting, two setting, and then back onto its brightness. I can, if I can't get any further, I can press the zoom button. It'll go in one and two, and then we'll zoom back out. One and two. But as I said, I can see it perfectly and it's something that I wouldn't be able to see without an inspection camera. So absolutely perfect. Does the job that it's meant to do and does it really well. Let's say so you can see it from an angle as well. And we're out in bright daylight and you can see it perfectly. Perfect. And when you finish with it, easy to put away. Just coil it back up. It comes with these Velcro loops that you simply wrap around, pull over and they tie on. And that's it, ready to put back in its box. Absolutely wonderful tool. Right, so that's it. You've seen it in action. You can see what it can do. In summary, is this something that I'd recommend? Well, I've got numerous inspection cameras. Some are easy to set up, some aren't so easy to set up. Some you need a, a smartphone, some have got their own screen, some have got bigger screens. This, however, is the only one that you can literally take it out of the box, switch it on, and it's ready to go. The screen itself at 2.4 inches isn't the biggest screen, but it's clear and you can see everything that you need to see. You can obviously change the lighting on it to make it clearer, but as I said, the screen itself, great in daylight, nice and bright and clear. At 16 and a half foot for the cable, well, that's perfect if you're going down any pipe work. But the, the main thing is, as I say, you can take it out of the box and use it. With regard to inspection cameras, if you don't currently own an inspection camera, they can be the most useful tool that you'll ever have. But unfortunately, if you don't have one in the house at the time that you need it, then it's useless. So I would recommend to anybody, get an inspection camera, put it in the drawer until the time that you need it, because I'll guarantee that you will need one and it really will be the best tool that you've ever used. With regard to this Depth Deck 260, would I recommend it? I've already said yes, at around about 40 to 45 pounds, it could be the cheapest, best tool that you'll ever buy. So yes, Definite recommendation.